The Washington Commanders have made two big-time signings in NFL free agency this afternoon, locking up Austin Eckler, the star running back for two years in Cliff Kingsbury's offense, as well as one of the best inside linebackers in the National Football League today in Frankie Louvu. We will break down each of these signings in detail today on the Commander's Report, but before we get into it, make sure you guys click that subscribe button because we are going to be giving you guys breaking news updates on the Washington Commanders all throughout NFL free agency this week. The Commanders came into this with the most cap space and they are not afraid to pull the trigger already. A number of signings for Dan Quinn and GM Adam Peters today, so make sure you guys click that subscribe button to never miss any of our breaking news action all throughout NFL free agency this week. So let's start with Austin Eckler, the newest running back for the Washington Commanders. Last year, definitely had a down year, man, in 2023, just a grade of 60.2. That was one of the lowest pro football focus grades among running backs in the National Football League last year. And listen, I think that he is a perfect fit for Cliff Kingsbury's offense uh, because there's lots of passing. We know how prolific Austin Eckler is as a receiving back, one of the best of all time in terms of his prime. When he was in his prime, he was one of the best receiving running backs in the history of the game. He's a fantasy god, if you uh, know anything about fantasy football. And then also lots of screens. So he's going to be catching a lot of passes in this offense with Cliff Kingsbury at the helm as the new offensive play caller. Contract details here. Two years, and it can get up to $11.43 million if he hits all of his incentives. And the big question surrounding Austin Eckler is, will he be able to get right? Because throughout his career, okay, he's been one of the best running backs in the National Football League, but last year, he definitely took a turn for the worst, man. And this is what you fear with running backs getting a little bit older in the National Football League. And it's definitely possible that Eckler is this type of running back for the rest of his career, just averaging three and a half yards per carry. Uh, not The receiving yards went down than usual. The total touchdowns was only six for him last year. If you know anything about Austin Eckler, is that he has been one of the more productive running backs in the National Football League over the last several seasons. And you see that big decline, a full yard uh, of, of, of yards per attempt taken off his total from last year, going from 45 to 3.5, going from 18 touchdowns to six, touch, to six touchdowns in 14 games played. So he wasn't fully healthy last year, guys. But at the end of the day, he did play in 14 football games. And that dip in production is a bit concerning. Uh, but despite that, I do like this move a lot. All right, maybe they paid him a little bit too much here, uh, given his age, given the drop in production from last season. But I think he is a perfect fit. In Cliff Kingsbury's offense, he's going to be able to catch passes out of the backfield. He's going to be able to catch those screen passes out of the backfield. He's going to be a nice safety blanket for whoever the commanders end up drafting number two overall in the 2024 NFL draft. Whether that be Drake May, whether that be Jaden Daniels, you're going to have a safety blanket there and a nice outlet there in Austin Eckler. And honestly, guys, I actually don't think that Austin Eckler is the number one running back here in Washington uh, moving forward, I think you have a really nice duo in Brian Robinson Jr. and Austin Eckler. You got a nice third running back in Chris Rodriguez Jr. that you can work into the rotation as well. And listen, guys, I've been somebody that's been kind of more on the, you know, draft a running back team than on the sign a free agent team when it comes to this position. But you know what? I think Austin Eckler is such a good fit in this offense. I think his role is going to be so well defined over these next two years. I think it's going to be a success, and I think Austin Eckler is going to be a good signing for this football team when it's all said and done. Now, coming up here, we're on to Frankie Louvu. I think it's the best move that the commanders have made thus far in free agency. I'll let you know why here in just a second, but first, sound off for me down there in the comments section. Grade the commander's moves so far. Okay, so you get Armstrong, the defensive end, in your first move. Then you get Tyler Biotis, the center. Uh, both of them poached from the Dallas Cowboys earlier today. And now you get Austin Eckler, the running back, and Frankie Louvu, the inside linebacker. So with those four moves, grade the moves so far 
for Washington. A, B, C, D, or F for me. I'll give them a B minus. I want to see them do more. I want to see them get another edge rusher. I want to see them continue to build this roster. But to this point, I think that the guys that they have that they are bringing in are solid players and will help this team. And you know what? Go ahead, give me a grade down there in the comment section. And while you're doing that, I'm going to tell you about our friends at Prize Picks. Go to PrizePicks.com/CLNS or download the Prize Picks app. For a, 100, for a deposit bonus up to $100 today. Football season is over, folks, but the action on the floor for college and professional basketball is just heating up. Whether it's tournament season in college or the fight for playoff home court in the NBA, there's no shortage of high-stakes basketball moments this time of the year. Get in on the excitement with Prize Picks, America's number one fantasy sports app where you can turn your hoops knowledge into serious cash. Quick withdrawals, easy gameplay, and an enormous selection of players and stat types are what makes Prize Picks the number one daily fantasy sports app in the United States of America. So how does it work, you ask? Here's how you play. You pick two to six players, and if they'll go for more or less than their Prize Picks projection, you can even win up to 25 times your money on any entry. So here's one of their <coughs> excuse me, college basketball projections here. You can do points, you can do rebounds, you can do assists, and they've got a bunch of different teams and players for you to choose from here. Excellent stuff here. I'm taking the more on the Gonzaga guys and then the Western Michigan guy. I'll take the less on him today, guys. So you can go to prizepicks.com slash CLNS or download the Prize Picks app today and use code CLNS for a first deposit match up to $100. Uh, with Prize Picks, it takes less than 60 seconds to make your picks. So get started right now before stuff starts tipping off tonight. Again, download the Prize Picks app today and use code CLNS for a first deposit match up to $100. Pick more or pick less. It's that easy with our friends at Prize Picks. All right, so now let's get to Frankie Louvu, my favorite signing to this point for the Washington Commanders. I love me some Frankie Louvu, and I think he's a great fit for the Washington Commanders. All right, so let's talk about the grade from last season with the Carolina Panthers, top 10 in the National Football League with an 80.0. And then you know that Joe Witt Jr. and Dan Quinn, they're going to be bringing the heat, all right? They're going to be bringing these simulated pressures where these linebackers are going to be rushing the passer. And right now, Frankie Louvu is arguably one of, if not the best blitzing linebacker in the National Football League. Last year had the highest grade of any inside linebacker when it came to pass rush at 90. Point one, uh, which was absolutely fantastic. He's had that good of a grade for many years at this point. And then the contract details for $12 million per season to get a guy with this kind of production. I am absolutely on board. Now, the Carolina Panthers, I didn't actually think were a very good fit for Frankie Louvu because he's a blitzing linebacker and they don't really blitz their linebackers all that much, but he still put up 5.5 sacks and had two forced fumbles last year, 10 tackles for loss and over 120 tackles total. So he's definitely somebody that I'm excited to see in a Washington Commanders uniform. He's going to be a great leader for this defense in the middle of this unit with Jamin Davis right by his side. That's a really good inside linebacker duo, in my opinion. It's a lot better than what they had last year in Cody Barton and Khalid Hudson. I can tell you that right now. And you look at the stats over the last several years, man. I mean, Look at those sack numbers, all right, from a linebacker. That is excellent production. Uh, and then also 19 tackles for loss back in 2022 as well. So he has been a really good player in this league for a very long time. And they're getting him for a pretty decent price here at $12 million per season, which isn't cheap necessarily, but you're not paying for a cheap kind of player, right? This isn't a bargain bin type linebacker that you're getting. You're getting arguably a top 10 linebacker in the game of football today. That is a perfect fit for what Dan Quinn and Joe Witt Jr. want to do defensively here in the nation's capital. And that is why this is my favorite move of the day, at least to this point. I mean, I mean who knows, man? We could be back with, a, with our third breaking news video here on the Commander's Report. Uh, this is actually our third. We did a Dorrance Armstrong. We did Tyler Biotish. And we've done this one. We might have a fourth one later today. But man, I really think that Frankie Luvu is the perfect fit. And it, it really all comes together with him. All right. You're not overpaying for him like I think you might have with Dorrance Armstrong and Tyler Biotish and maybe even Austin Eckler. I think that you're paying just the right price for Frankie Luvu. I think he's the perfect fit and he fills a very major need on this commander's defense. So let me know which signing was better today. Austin Eckler, type EE, -E, or do you think Frankie Louvu 
was the better fit. Type FL down there in the comment section. What was your favorite move of today's free agency action? Let me know down there in the comment section. That'll be it for this breaking news edition of the Commander's Report. Make sure you click that subscribe button because you know the Commanders are going to be gearing up to make more moves in the coming days or even hours. Daniil Hunter is still available. Could the Commanders make a big-time move to get their number one edge rusher? I guess we'll find out, and we can find out together when you click that subscribe button right now.